Hey everybody, it's Mark here. I thought I'd do a bit of a video on my uh, Mark 28 Mercury outboard. And this guy is mounted on a Mark 25 tower. And uh, it's been all redone. New coils, points, condensers. I gotta replace the wires, that's the next thing. I got a plate welded here for my steering bar. And uh, yeah, but then uh, yeah, it mounts right on the Mark 25 power uh, tower. Excuse me, tower. And your prop been all redone. New water pump on it. But uh, yeah, and they even managed to put the original Mark 25 recoil on a Mark 28 by just making this little adapter plate. Put them on there. Drill a hole in the front. But. Uh, the main reason I'm making this video is someone actually asked me to make a video about uh, bogging on an outboard, or, or he had a problem with a Mark Mark 28. And um, what I did, I saw the guy, a gentleman on YouTube, that uh, suggested to put clear plastic lines. And the reason he does that, you could actually see where the bubbles are. If there's drawing air, or you could really see what's going on in there when the motor's running. Now, assuming your compression's good, and your crank seals are good, and your ignition system is up to par, will eliminate that problem. But the bogging is usually called, caused by fuel issues. Now, when I had, and you know, another thing I always recommend is change the water solvent. Excuse me, change the fuel pump diaphragm and it's you know they're not that expensive they get deteriorated you know and they get you know warped and whatever so change that make sure your carburetor's clean make sure you know everything's no debris in there these are fixed jet carburetors so there's not really much to play with these so when I did have this this motor running um, it was bogging bubbles coming from the top so I took my fuel my gas can or gas tank and I raised it to the level of the motor and I noticed the bubbles were gone I put it back down the bubbles would come back again so by having clear lines you can really see what's going on there now another thing I did I put barbed fittings like I did on my little Mark 7 barbed there, barbed there, barbed there and uh, I went and got some clear neoprene lines I eliminated the old mercury lines. Now, these are very expensive to buy and replace, so that was a lot easier fix. Now, major problem with these is the connectors. There's the connector that goes on the motor, here's the connector that goes, when it comes out of your gas tank, and you plug it in. There's a spring, there's a ball, small o ring large o-ring. Now this one here is really deteriorated. Now when I put the connectors together I was able to actually plug one end of the line, blow the other line and it was just leaking air and fuel out of this. So another thing I recommend if you plan on running an outboard, regardless of what kind of outboard you're running, uh, you know if you could eliminate that that connector at the outboard, at the motor itself you're going to eliminate a lot of the problems. So after I took the connector off and went direct to the gas tank, uh, it ran like a champ. So that's another another thing that people should look into. But that's my little my little quirk on this thing. But uh, yeah, so besides that, it runs good. Plan to put it on my boat next year. Got the prop rebuilt. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.